Hello, welcome to this relative report recorded at 10.50 on the 14th of April 2022. I'm Trevor Neal, Research Director of RG Research, presenting from London. Today we're going to look at asset classes, we're going to look at the global, and then we're going to home in on the leader in the asset classes and which particular security can we maximise uh, the message of the relative rotation graph. And the very, there is a very strong one. Let's begin though with uh, looking at asset classes from a top-down view. The first chart we're looking at is a chart showing the MSCI World Index in the middle and then all the asset class ETFs, uh, traded ETFs. of, uh, And I hope you can see an immediate, very striking message in them. Uh, we can see the commodities rule. So we've got the two ETFs, uh, the Dow Jones UBS Commodity Index, and then the ETF of uh, gold um, itself, the well-known IAU ETF. And then around the centre here, we've got everything else. So all the treasuries, emerging markets, the small cap uh, stocks, everything else, stocks themselves, uh, down around, moving around close to the MSCI world. So moving with the MSCI world. Things which are away from it are the things from which uh, you can get some outperformance. Now what's very striking, these two here, the two commodity related uh, ETFs, we've got the uh, commodity index furthest to the right. That means that on a relative basis the strongest uh, uptrend. And then second, and but a long way away from the, the rest of the group, is gold. Uh, the direction of this is downwards but slightly eastwards. So downwards but far to the right means that this is a very strong uh, ETF uh, relatively against the MSCI world, which is pausing a bit. This downwards movement is the pause. But actually, even in the last week, this is a weekly sample, uh, the, this has moved to the right. So this is improving again. So this one is far to the right, a very good position, the best position, and, um, and starting to edge further to the right as well. When we looked at the asset classes versus the MSCI world, we got a clear message about uh, energy and the continuing strength in the energy, despite a small a pause, but really outstandingly showing it's the best game in town compared to other the, all the other asset opportunities. But how do you capitalize on this? You could buy that uh, ETF itself, but it's being driven quite clearly, I think I can show you now, by a particular segment of, of the whole commodities group. In the first graph, when we were looking at the asset classes, we saw the outstanding uh, show by the commodities. Uh, commo commodities uh, being further to the right. Yes, uh, a little bit of a pause going on, but no real cause for alarm. But commodities, of course, is many things. And uh, let's break this down. And to do this, I've, I've chosen the, the CRB Index of Commodities, Commodity Research Bureau um, Index of Commodities. That's in the centre here. It's made up of 19 uh, most actively traded commodity futures contracts traded in the United States. So when we look at that, we can see um, all the big uh, commodity markets. So we've got some interesting themes here too. If you look in here, the other constituent from, from the metals group, uh, and the biggest, biggest one, copper, is right down in here in the lagging quadrant. So metals as a group has, is um, rather split up. Um, and uh, we haven't got a consistent theme in that. But energy as a group has got a consistent theme. Nearly all of them except for one are in the leading quadrant. And this is the only group within the commodities um, uh, asset class that is altogether with a strong uh, message. Um, in, the, in that sector we've got uh, WTI crude, gasoline, um, the heating oil, um, are all in the leading quadrant. Now there's one that isn't, and that is natural gas. But natural gas may be the most interesting one because it's in the improving quadrant. So we're going to concentrate on these now, but uh, just looking everywhere else, you see sugar, um, silver, coffee, cattle, 
uh, cocoa, everything else is in this poor quadrant here or heading towards it, soybeans um, uh, as well. So, um, and there's aluminium there, by the way, as well in, from the metals group. They are dispersed or they're looking poor, but Brent crude oil has been moving, and the WTI, have been moving ahead very, very strongly. They were in a bull market for many months before the Ukraine war and sort of got ahead of themselves, now corrected and, and really stabilising. Look, at the, they're going up again. Um, but this is a, a very mature bull market that's going on in Brent crude oil, and it's hard to join it at this point. Maybe not wrong to join it at this point, but it's not uh, at the beginning of the move, uh, that's for sure. But there is something that is, and that's this natural gas, which we see is in the leading quadrant. And look at its behaviour here, how it's swung around here, sample to sample, this sample here from here and a week ago and a week ago and a week ago um, is expanding, so it's moving around faster and it's heading in a northeasterly direction. While it isn't across the 100 line here, it's still on the left, so on a relative basis um, uh, the trend is not so strong. It is improving substantially um, and also the momentum is improving substantially. So I want to look at this chart. This is a weekly chart of the natural gas here is contract futures. You can see we've just broken to a new recent high last week. We have got a MACD, which has turned positive uh, a few weeks ago. And we have got a relative strength index, which is screaming upwards here very, very strongly and powerfully um, here. So we've got a very bullish chart in play. But notice this band here. Where did this band come from? Now look at this. This is going back. This is 2009 here. We have had one, two, three tops in this zone here between just above five dollars and just above six dollars. Uh, this, this puts below it an enormous, enormous base. It's been at two dollars to six dollars since 2008 till last week. Technically, when you have a big base like this and there all this trading that's gone for literally years in that relatively narrow range of prices. And when that, when you leave that, that really is a seismic shift in change in the, um, uh, the structure of a market, just as it was here. When we fell away sharply here, this was sort of the invention of cheap nat natural gas, which do has dominated uh, the world for a number of years. But now it's looking like this is changing. Cheap natural, ga uh, natural gas is now behind us. The fall here was very, very fast indeed, and therefore it leaves very little resistance if we start to move up here. So this could move up very, very fast and with a great deal of ease, supported by this enormous uh, technical base. So I think that this is a great opportunity. Rather than buying into something which is really, um, uh, really short and is near its all-time highs and um, and is you know maybe mature in its move. This one is much closer to the beginning of its move, supported by this enormous uh, base. So my favourite is natural gas from the uh, energy sector, from the commodity sector, which is favoured from a ROG of asset class groups. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I hope the trend is with you, and thank you from all of us here at ROG. Research PV. Thank you.